Hello and welcome to Beyond Cooking, episode 4. This time, leaving my homeland traditions and going to our neighbor Argentina to learn their classic empanadas. You can find empanadas in almost every country in Latin America, and all of them have their origins back to Europe. But here, my references are Argentinian recipes. So come on, let's cook! As always, you can find all ingredients and the full recipe in the description. But in the video there are some extra tips. Let's start with the fillings. It can be done a day before, since it's better to handle it through the dough when it's cold. The colder it is, the better to shape the empanada. Fine chop the onions, the garlic and the red bell peppers. Add some vegetable oil on a hot pan, add the red bell peppers and stir for a while. Add the onions and keep stirring until it gets translucent. Add the garlic less before adding the meat. We don't want to burn this garlic, because when it burns, it leaves a really strong taste in the food, and that's not what we want here. Open some space in the pan, and you can add the ground beef of your choice. It's important that the meat has contact with the pan surface. Leaving it there, without stirring for 2 to 3 minutes, will give a brown color and some extra flavor to the meat. Don't forget to add some salt and pepper. Add the paprika and the soy sauce. Give a good mix. And let it cook for 10 to 15 minutes. Or until almost all the water evaporates. Just make sure your meat is dry enough to fill the empanadas. The drier, the better. Turn off the stove, cover and let it cool. In the meantime, let's prepare the dough. In a bowl, add the flour, the melted butter, the water, and the salt. Start incorporating the ingredients with a fork, then you will need to use your hands. Mix and knead well until smooth. Cover with some plastic film and let it rest in the fridge for at least half hour. After cooling down, you can cut the dough into smaller portions. The proportions that I am using here are enough for something around 10 empanadas. To open the dough, spread some flour on a clean surface and open it with a rolling pin or a bottle. Add a spoon or two of the cold meat, a quarter of a hard boiled egg and some seedless olives. With your fingers, spread some water on the edge of the dough. It will help to stick together. Close it carefully, merging the edges from side to side. When completely sealed, it's possible to create different designs to empanada edges. I've made the original Argentinian style, which consists in successive pressing and turning. That was my first time doing it, and it's far from perfect. If you are not secure enough to do that way, you could crimp the edges using a fork, or just leave it flat, there's no problem. 
but those uneven edges give an extra crunchy when it's done. At this point, you could froze your empanada, and when you are hungry, you can throw it directly in the oven without defrosting. Place the empanadas on a baking sheet, give them an egg wash, which consists of an egg and a glug of water, and we are ready to bake it. In an oven, preheated to 180 degrees Celsius, place the empanadas to bake for around 20 to 25 minutes, or until the dough is a light golden brown. And it's done, my friends, another South American delicious. I've shown it the Argentinian way to make it, but if you want to change it, maybe use another filling, or maybe deep fry instead of bake it. I just hope you get inspired by what I show it here today. And if you try it by yourself, don't forget to share and tag me on Instagram. The link to my profiles are in the description down below. Also, don't forget to like this video and subscribe to the channel. And see you again next week with another video.